Hello and welcome to another Outside Inside Star Citizen. Before we start off, uh, I'm gonna post a link down in the info section uh, below my Patreon and other links that you should obviously click on. But th this link is uh, for the issue council report. It's just one of the issues that I reported and this one, well, this is like the most game-breaking issue that uh, we found out and uh, you can apparently destroy the server's FPS and crash the server like single-handedly. So first check it out and uh, yeah, let's cut straight to the chase. Hello, my name is Grumpy. then uh, you already know the format so I'm just gonna like roll the clips uh, from uh, inside Star Citizen and I'm gonna comment on them I'm gonna like ah you'll see it doesn't fucking matter so yeah let's let's just roll the first clip while other games offer resource collection in various forms like mining for example it is not necessarily a fun job to do in a game this is where always with mining, we've had this approach of like, no, no, this needs to be fun. Like every part of it, there needs to be fun. There needs to be a challenge. You need to have a risk involved. There needs to be something that doesn't quite end up as you planned in the beginning. I mean, every time that I went mining in the previous like 3.14 and 3.15 patches, uh, like if I go rock mining, the rocks spawn inside the, the map rocks, like the, the big boulders that you can't like, you, you just cannot penetrate with your laser penetrate. Um, on the other hand, ship mining is a bit different. It's a bit more engaging, I guess, but it's really boring and like I mostly do, it's like fishing and like well, I uh, I do love fishing because like you just chill over there, but this is just not chill. This is just like wasting your time uh, trying to find the, the perfect rock, right? So, uh, like I'm not even gonna comment on the scanners uh, and, and the ping and like everything that's broken right now. And I can only hope that they will change in the next patch. So anyway. When I was with a friend and we hit the Aaron Belt to, to look for some Quintanium, we stumbled over the problem that with a proper setup of the prospector, it was not even possible to crack like the biggest stones. Now, I'm not sure that they actually played the game and that they actually went to the Aaron's Belt because like when you go there, the rocks are pretty much the same rocks that you can find like elsewhere, like on uh, Cruel 1, Cruel 3 or, or whatever. So basically, he's probably saying that he went uh, mining on, on on planets at one point and there you can actually find bigger rocks that you can't mine with a prospector unless you're really skilled but still why would you do that because like you're not gonna have enough seu or, or space in the prospector to like get all the stuff from the rocks so uh yeah that's like a minor thing that i wanted to point out here because like I, I wasn't sure that like are we are we playing the same game Anyway, in the previous updates, we kept adding more and more tools for the for the players to mine, and we also ramped up the the difficulty of the mineable rocks. I mean, I need to address the elephant in the room right here. So, um, does everyone in CAG play an instrument? Is that like the the minimum requirement to get like hired by CAG? like you need to play an instrument a, a certain instrument so the last guy was a bassist this guy is a guitarist and we had a bunch of guys that played instruments i mean kudos to you guys i mean i'm, I'm a musician so uh yeah let's make a band but i mean then again you're probably not going to show up on the rehearsals and uh you're probably not going to play the songs that we actually made together so anyway let's concentrate on what he said in the previous updates, we kept adding more and more tools for the for the players to mine, and we also ramped up the the difficulty of the mineable rocks. I mean, didn't the first guy just say that the rocks were too difficult to mine, and then you just said that you ramped up the difficulty of the mineable rocks? Okay. Uh, this presented us with a, a bit of a problem where since we went more and more towards the multiplayer, mole experience, uh, two, three prospectors working together, 
the problem became that single players kind of were unable to reach that content, not being able to mine very hard drugs. So we figured out that there is a niche that we need to start catering towards. And I would completely agree. But the thing is, uh, I'm not sure if you guys actually play the game, but like there's no point in having a prospector. Like the most money that you can earn with a prospector is like 350K. Uh, and that's like by spending, I don't know how many hours and how many days of refining and then you can like get 350k while if you mind with a mole and a couple of friends you can get like a 500k or even more uh, by mining on the planet so there's no there's no point in like mining with a prospector but I, to be honest i love the mining gadgets i i love the idea anyway so whatever we did for single player needed to be harder and have harder uh, heavier risks involved uh, so this is where we came up with the idea of the mining gadget. Wait, I don't get it. Like, do you want it to be harder or do you want to make it easier? Um, like, I, I saw this video three times and, and I didn't understand it. Uh, but okay, they're making it easier with the mining gadgets, right? Because that, that's the point, right? The mining gadget allows the player to access those super difficult drugs, but it comes with an entry level cost. It comes with an inherent risk, which is anyone can just come in, shoot you. They can come in and steal your ship. There's, there's so many things that can happen. Like that can happen already. But I'm really not sure how how do you suppose that it's going to happen? Because like the new ping mechanics with the new scanner system don't show you the other player when he pings. Uh, I don't I, I don't get it. Um, I mean, all right. And what they're saying right here is like that they have six devices that's gonna that are gonna help you mine the rocks. One of them is gonna make a bigger optimal charge. The other one is gonna uh, lower the instability, etc., etc. Uh, so, okay, I mean, fine, that's good. But like, I still need to see it in the game, and I still need to see it working. So part of the idea behind this was that, you know, there's a conscious decision that Hey, 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 no, 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 you don't. Where the fuck is your instrument? I need to see an instrument. You're fucking fired. Next. You think, okay, this mining deposit has a lot of stuff I want. Uh, it's quite difficult to mine. I'm going to take a little bit of more of time, go outside and play this gadget. All right, you can be a lead singer. I don't fucking care. No, you can you can play the harp. No, you can play you can play the blues harmonica, right? Okay, it's settled. Maybe a triangle. Okay. Anyway, so I have been talking about time sinks that are being added to the uh, Star Citizen to the game uh, forever now, and this is a time sink, yes, but it is an actual gameplay. Uh, time sync in itself so it does contain some gameplay so it is grumpy eye certified it's, it's grumpy eye approved and i guess i like it uh, and th that's that's the end of it good job uh, little walter or hauling wolf uh, those are like bulls harp players uh, google them they're fucking great anyway once you place it then you have to find the resonance of the stone that you just attached the device to it's our mini game, but it's a meaningful mini game. It's kind of a small puzzle. I've been working in the CIG. I've been working my ass off, yeah. Just to have one comes from Serbia. Tell me that I'm not doing a good job. Uh -huh, yeah. As to where we want to take the, the minor player experience in the future, we are looking right now at uh, ship refining and getting the Starfarer to be able to refine whatever the Prospector and Mole are, are uh, harvesting right there on the spot together with their, their mining bodies. And that's what we think will close that lovely gameplay loop of uh, resource acquisition from mining. Uh, we're gonna go over the ship refining a bit later uh, in the video, but uh, uh, that's a nice addition, but like you're still closing the mining game loop. You're still trying to uh, do it like 
what about the other game loops? Like, why do we still have a Reclaimer or an MSR or a Drake Herald if we can't fucking find a game loop that's like made for them, but okay. Mining gadgets are the latest in a- Uh, who is this man? Um, uh, bring back Jared, please, thank you. A long line of expansions and improvements to the overall mining gameplay as the team continues bringing it up to what we'd consider a, a gold standard for other professions to follow. And you can look forward to working with them when they arrive in the upcoming Alpha 316. Well, speaking of gold standards, your gold standard Gladius is still fucked because when you pull your head up in the game uh, with your track IR, uh, your head or your vision clips through the gold standard seat in your gold standard Gladius. So, um, uh, uh, is there gonna be a platinum standard after the gold standard? Uh, are we gonna, like, then go to diamond standard? And then we're gonna go to, like, I don't know, uh, kryptonium? Kryptonium? Tonight? A chrysanium standard? <sighs> I don't know. Next. But up next, it's sprint report time, so let's get to it. Let's start things off this week with the world of in-game brand logos, where a final pass was recently completed for the Mercenary Guild. This is so great and uh, overwhelming and fantastic that I'm just gonna skip through it. Work also continues on the Drake Vulture, the entry-level salvage ship scheduled to come online sometime next year. Sometime next year, so that will be soon trademarked by CAG. <laughs> now, currently in gray box phase... Uh, actually, this is yellow box, because, like, uh, if we have a gold standard and, uh, like, platinum and chrysanium standard, uh, this should be... <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This should be yellow box, right? <coughs> Oh, okay, next. This is where the team looks to add as many signature Drake elements as they can, steering into the heavier, more brutalist aspects found in other Drake spacecraft. Please just make another toilet right next to the bed. I, I beg you, like, we need that. We need to smell our own shit. And, like, that, that, that's the only thing I have to say here. Okay, next. And, like, because uh, they didn't have, like, anything else to show us, they just, like, put a bunch of JPEGs of uh, the, uh, uh, Venture? Venture Eve? Venture? No, uh, what's it called? Uh, Drake, Drake Venture? No. Eve Vulture? No, 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 no. Drake... Vulture! There we go. Drake Vulture ship on, 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 yeah, and we just, you can see it and that's it. Uh, next clip. Moving on over to the character team, members have taken a sprint to update some of the texture sets for the various inhabitants of the Persistent Universe, both NPC and player controlled alike. The work is subtle, but by including a number of irregularities and imperfections throughout, it helps us achieve a greater sense of realism and expectation when engaging the characters you meet throughout your journeys. And the best part about all these is that the improvements aren't just for the NPCs you'll encounter, they'll also be used in the character creator once they're deemed ready. And if you're wondering, what happened to the eyebrows? Me too. Turns out the team is looking to add customizable eyebrows to the character creator as well, so they'll no longer be baked into the face textures that you see here. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people with like mono brows and like the, the, the weirdest fucking hairstyling uh, just running around uh, Port Olesar or Everest, whatever. Uh, beards, please, we need beards, we need beards, and we need tattoos. Well, maybe scars more than tattoos, but like we actually, like we need beards. We need to look hard and we need fucking beards. Make beards happen. Make beards happen. Make beards happen. Anyway. Now, as with all things you see on Inside Star Citizen, all of these are still a work in progress, but it's been a while since these spaces got some love, and it's exciting to see their time on the development wheel come around again. And you can also see here how they can come together with facial hair and scalp to form the best version of old Eckhart yet. Just look at Mama Miller's mighty man. Looking good, Phil. The overly depressed ball guy sitting in the corner of the bar squeezing a non-existent glass like he's holding a cure for his vanquished soul. With his eyes fixated on the horizon, filled with despair, 
while he's waiting on the ship that never came. But he did a facelift. Uh, he got a new reskin. So yeah, yeah, he is gonna be even more depressed, like a like a housewife, like a housewife that never fucking leaves the house. And he's probably gonna t pose anyway. Speaking of the character team, I'm gonna sit quiet for a little bit and let you all take a look at the newest armor set coming to the Persistent Universe, the Queerness Tech Medium Armor. Shh, 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 shh. There's, there's a new armor. We gotta sp speak soft. Wow. Wow, the armor, dude. Ooh, ooh, the, ooh, it's so shiny. It's so like stalker, but it's not. It's like stalker, but it's cyberpunk, but ooh, ooh yeah. Oh yeah, Neil, be, Neil before the new armor, dude. Oh yeah, baby. It's it's so, uh, it, this never happens in the game, but yeah, that, that's, that's uh, the new armor, dude. It's amazing, oof. The emotes, dude, like, the animations, dude, like, ooh, uh, oh, like, we're talking, this is obviously made in the game, and, uh, oh, yes, yes, the, oh, he's looking around, dude, like, oof, oof, the new armor, dude, like, oh, the cloth mechanics, what the fuck is this, like, why, is this a cape, is this, uh, what is this, like, th this is really weird, but, okay, this is better now, okay, but uh, wow, the new armor, dude, amazing, just amazing, like, we waited 10 fucking years for this, okay, hands down, it was worth it, it was fucking worth it, next clip. Speaking of the next clip, um, well, they showed a bunch of, like, graffiti and, like, concept art for Pyro, so uh, it's really not worth talking about it, like, you can watch it on the IC, like, the, uh, the original video uh, it's they're talking about it but the, like jared is talking about it but it's really not uh, that interesting so i'm just gonna leave you here um i have nothing else to say uh i have lost all the energy that i had stored for this day oh shit no i forgot to talk about the refineries okay so we need to uh look at the roadmap so let's do that right now Okay, so for 3.16, we have gameplay, uh, ten, uh, we're not sure that we're gonna actually get mining gadgets. Ship to ship refueling, uh, okay, maybe, maybe not. Uh, dying star map, Gravlav, uh, how is this, oh no, this is ships and vehicles, okay, weapons and items. Uh, do we see it in 3.16's characters, locations, AI, no, okay, so where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Gameplay. 3.17 gameplay. Hangar management app. No. Pers no. Selling items to shops. No. NPC taxi. Whatever. But no. Where is it? Where is the uh, fucking refineries? Uh, uh, refineries. Ship some vehicles. Drake Vulture is expected to be 3.18. Okay. Um, uh, gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. Uh, Pirate Swarm, FPS Radar. Actor Feature, EVA Tiers to Salvage, Tier 0, Hacking Tech, 0G, Drake Vulture. Uh, what the fuck did you say about the refineries? We are looking right now at uh, ship refining and getting the Starfarer to be able to refine whatever the Prospector and Mole are, are uh, harvesting right there on the spot together with their, their mining bodies. And that's what we think will close that lovely gameplay loop of uh, resource acquisition from mining. Alright, so just so you know that I'm not bullshitting you. So, uh, Mask Starfarer. Starfarer was introduced in the Star Citizen Alpha 2.3.0 back in the March of 2016, so that's five years ago. So, okay, maybe it's gonna be useful soon. Trademark by CIG. Uh, so, yeah, uh, at least we got the IC this time. So, yeah, so th this is gonna be, again, 
the show that we're gonna do every uh, Friday because they're gonna post it on Thursday. So all that is left to say is thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you wanna become one, you can clink, clink? No, you can click down below in the info section of the video. You can support me like every support is great because I'm, I'm poor and <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. Anyway, um, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and uh, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Mwah.